begin our today's program with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nature literally has the power to heal. By slowing down and letting yourself notice the smell, sound, and feel of nature, you become present, aware, and often experience less stress. You become unbusy. Now, I call upon Vijay Varman to give an introduction about World Conservation Day. 28 July is celebrated as World Nature Conservation Day around the world. This is to increase the awareness about protecting the nature and natural resources in order to make people understand about the importance of nature. World Nature Conservation Day emphasizes that the healthy environment is the foundation for a stable and productive society. It also ensures the well-being of the future generations. The main aim of the World Nature Conservation Day is to come together and protect the nature and not to exploit it. Said by a famous conservationist, Rachel Carson, conservation is a cause that has no end. There is no point at which we would say our work is finished. Now, I invite Mrs. Nithya to deliver the welcome address. Welcoming people is a part of Indian culture observed for centuries. We maintain this custom I welcome you all for today's celebration. Good morning to everyone present here. We all have gathered here today on the occasion of celebrating World Nature Conservation Day. I greet a very warm welcome to our honorable chief guest Mr. Robinson, Inspector of Police. I also welcome our beloved correspondent Sister Paulin, Principal Sister Sushila, and our guide Sister Nirmal Satya. who have shared their valuable time and joined us today to be a part of this day's celebration we are honored to have you all with us our school organizes such celebration to enlighten the young minds and promote the participation of students at all levels i would also like to offer my regards to all the people who made the celebration possible in such hard times parents of the world for children not to overlook that we are here joined by the wonderful parents who have raised the best students the school possesses with immense admiration and affection we welcome all the parents who made effort to join this celebration once again i would like to welcome you all for the nature conservation celebration let us all put our hands together to conserve our nature thank you
அனைவருக்கும் எனது காலை வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் மரங்களை பற்றி நாம் சொல்ல வேண்டும் என்றால் உலகத்தை கடவுள் படைக்கும் போது அதை அவர் ஒரு வேலையாக படைத்து தான் அதன் பிறகு மனிதனை படைக்கப்பட்டதாக இப்போது நீங்கள் படித்த செய்தியில் நாம் கண்டு கொள்ளலாம் மனிதனுக்கு உயிர் வாழ்வுக்கு தேவையானது இந்த மரங்களும் ஒன்று இதுதான் அவனுக்கு உணவு எனவே ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் நாம் பிழைப்பதற்கு உயிர் வாழ்வதற்கு மரங்கள் உணவாகவும் நமக்கு ஆக்சிஜனாகவும் நம் வாழ்க்கைக்கு இது தேவைப்படுகிறது மரங்களை அழிப்பதை நாம் நினைக்கும் போது அதை ஒரு வருத்தமாக நினைவுகளாகத்தான் அளிக்க வேண்டும் ஆனால் அளித்தால் அதற்கு பத்து மடங்கு மரங்களை வைத்தால்தான் ஒரு மரம் ரெண்டு மரம் முளைத்து வரும் எனவே அனைவரும் செடி கொடிகளை அதே போல் மரங்களை பேணி நாட்டிற்கு நன்மை செய்யவும் ஆக்சிஜன் பற்றாக்குறை வராதவாறு நம்முடைய சுற்று புறங்களில் மரங்களை நட்டு நாட்டுக்கு உகந்தவர்களாக நாம் வாழ வேண்டும் என்று அனைவருக்கும் என்னுடைய சிறு கருத்தை கூறி என்னுடைய உரையை முடிக்கிறேன் வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ சார் பியூட்டிஃபுல் மெசேஜ் வி ஆர் வெரி கிளாட் டு ஹாவ் யூ வித் வி ரிக்வெஸ்ட் யூ டு டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் பிளான்ஸ் டு தீப்பிள் தோஸ் தேங்க் யூ ஜங்கிள் 
Its menacing tusks are one of the most feared weapons in the animal kingdom. The bare sight of a charging tusker is enough to send shivers down the spine of every vertebrate in its vicinity. But not ours, the valiant humans. We are fearless. We crawl up with our puffed up chests straight into the elephant's territory. Armed with merely a high powered rifle, we sneak up on the majestic beast. Then, with a gentle squeeze of the trigger, we end the elephant's reign. We end the elephant's reign. We end the elephant's reign. When there isn't a gun handy, we just lay some food with deadly poison and leave it in the wild. Brave, isn't it? The elephant is not alone in surrendering to our dire devilry. The 300-year-old oak tree that the humans single-handedly cut down with an electroplated chainsaw is another force of nature that bowed down before our might. The whales, the biggest creatures on the planet, are chased down on motorized boats and killed with motorized harpoons. Giant boulders shattered to bits with dynamite, evergreen forests flattened with bulldozers, graceful birds rendered flightless with mechanical crossbows. The list is endless. The courage of the humans knows no bounds after all. Well, almost. The tiny virus has brought us mighty beings to our knees. We have been forced to retreat and stay within the confines of our homes. There is fear in the air. There is fear. Fear in the air. A word that cannot be found in our dictionaries. It has slowed us down, allowing the rest of the species to catch up. The hunter has become the hunted. The destroyer has become the destructible. The balance of power has changed, making us weak and the rest of the planet strong. But we will be back. We will return with more audacity than ever before. We will tear down the environment without an iota of guilt or fear. We will slay the inhabitants of the land, the sea, the sky. With our vaccinated bodies and sanitized rifles, our camouflage gear and our night vision goggles, our explosives, our vehicles, our machines, we will force the planet to submit to our bravery once again. We will grab power back with every tool at our disposal, except for our conscience. 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 The one tool that makes us human. Human in the first place. Let's watch a photo collage of small children love towards nature.
about conservation of nature. I am a tree. I am very important as your lungs. I am clean, dirty air and gives you fresh air. I give fruits, vegetables and shadows and many many more things. And I am very important for life also. Though I am living lots and lots of things, why you are touching me? People, a foolish people have lots of reasons to cut me. Keep in mind, what you saw, so as you reap. If you cut me, it will become a big problem in your future and your generation yet to become. I want you to plant more saplings and water the saplings daily and make your ear green and stay colorful. These are some conservation. Number one, save me, save papers. Number two, choose alternative for wooden furniture. Thank you. Morning, dear sister and my dear teachers. I am Ice Anonymous Trio, the standard A5. I am here to say a few words about what would I do to the environment if I were an elephant. I will plant trees and fight climate change. I will help in distributing the seeds of trees. I will be an ecosystem engineer. I will make the land fertile and support other living things. I will be a tourist attraction. Thank you, sister and teachers. Hi, I'm Esme Gestri of 6 Standard 80. I'm here to tell you few tips to conserve our mother earth. I can protect my environment by following three R's. Reduce. I promise myself to stop taking bath in the shower. Reuse. We reuse the water which was used to wash vegetables and rice to water the plants. Recycle. My grandmother recycles my old clothes into pillow covers and curtains. It's true that small hands can definitely bring change to our environment. from Sacred Heart Central School, Virupram. Celebrated on July 28th of every year, World Nature Conservation Day acknowledges that a healthy environment is the foundation for a healthy and a stable society. Today, wildlife is under threat due to human activities. So, it is our responsibility to conserve them. Conservation methods of wildlife has two types, in situ conservation and ex situ conservation. Today, I am going to explain about in situ conservation. In situ means being in their original position. So, in situ conservation is a method where wildlife and plant species are conserved in their own natural habitat. It is very less, less expensive and does not require much of labor and equipment services. This is more sustainable and dynamic. The examples of in situ conservation include Biosphere Reserves, National Parks, Natural Parks and Wildlife Sanctuaries. Thank you. Good morning to all. I am Vee Pravesha from Standard 11 A1 here to talk about ex situ conservation. It is a process of protecting an endangered species of plant or animal outside of its natural habitat. For example, by removing the part of the population from threatened habitat or by placing it in a new location which may be wild area or within the care of humans. Botanical garden. Botanical garden also shows the same prop problem as captive breeding of animals. Most of them are found in Europe and America. Royal Botanical Garden in Kew, England is known as one of the largest botanical garden in the world. Tissue culture. A method of biological research in which fragments of tissues from plant or animal are transferred to an artificial environment in which they can continue to survive and function. Some of the types of tissue cultures are seed culture, embryo culture, meristem culture, 
Bud culture, callus culture and cell suspension culture. Advantages of tissue culture. Large number of plants are to be produced from single plant in relatively small space in a short period of time. Viruses and other systematic diseases can be eliminated by propagating the quickly dividing cells of shoot tip. Thank you. Welcome to one and all gathered here. I am Mithul J of class 12 A1 here to say about the role of an individual in conserving nature. Human beings depend upon the nature for their developmental activities. If the resources of nature are not used wisely, then it would create an imbalance in our environment. Thus, it would head us in opposition to an eco-friendly atmosphere. Most of the natural resources take a huge amount of time to be renewed, which brings in the need for conservation of it. As responsible citizens, we should take a stand in conserving our nature. Here are a few ways in which we can conserve our nature. Building rainwater harvesting system in every house, reusing and recycling water used for various activities can help in conserving water. Using bicycles or walking to places nearby or using public transport and minimizing the usage of fuel propelled vehicles and machines helps in the conservation of energy. Planting more trees and reducing deforestation can help in the fight against the global warming, which serves as a major threat for our nature. Following the three R's, that is, reduce, reuse, and recycle, can create a major positive impact in the conservation of nature. Sustainable and efficient use of natural resources can help us to attain ecological balance. These ways of conserving nature may seem to be simple, but can create a great impact in the conservation of it. As today is World Nature Conservation Day, let every one of us take a decision to do our best in conserving our nature. Thank you. We visited nearby village and distributed seeds and saplings to farmers to encourage them. lives for itself. Rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruits. Sun doesn't shine for itself. Living for each other is nature's rule. Now, I call upon Mrs. Rosemary 
to propose the vote of thanks. A very pleasant good morning to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all dignitaries assembled here. First and foremost, I thank the Almighty for helping us to conduct today's celebration and making it a grand success. I would like to thank our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Robinson, Inspector of Police, Villapuram Town, whose instant presence has really graced this occasion. I extend my gratitude to our correspondent, Sister Pauline, loving principal, Sister Sashila, and our guide, Sister Rinmal Satya, for giving us an opportunity to celebrate this World Nature Conservation Day. I would like to thank the teaching and non-teaching staff for their valuable cooperation to make this program a memorable one. I also like to thank our dear parents and students for making this celebration a joyous one. Once again, I thank you one and all. Thank you.